Dear civil engineer, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started CSS SAP 2000 version 20 Ultimate tutorial series, and uh, also we have started a building design, I mean Z plus 3 story concrete building design in SAP 2000. So, uh, till our previous lecture, we have just completed everything of that structure. Now, in this lecture, I will assign load on it. Okay. So, um, we have defined many types of load. If I show you here, load pattern. Here, we have assigned many types of load. Right? So, here, and now we'll assign load. And also, we have assigned earthquake load and wind load as per ASC 7, 16. Okay, that are also. Okay, and uh, I have used the Excel sheet. And I have told you that. If you think that you need that Excel sheet, then I will give you that Excel sheet uh, and fully that is accessible. And if you need that Excel sheet, you can contact to me and that full playlist will be given there. You should see that playlist. So, first of all, to apply load on it, actually, uh, they have two floor. This is our ground floor, this is first floor and second floor. Okay. Now, what we'll do actually here, we'll apply load on our slab. Okay, so first of all, I'll just select our all slab with uh, also we'll select our that I mean uh, our ester slab. So I'll just go select, then go select, and from here, properties, then frame section, and from here, sorry, it's not frame section, I'll just close that. Select then from here properties okay then area section and here that is slab 5 inch slab then I'll click select so wall slab have selected I'll just close okay wall slab has selected but I will not consider okay uh, first of all I will apply some load which is a possible to apply for wall slab so I'll just go here assign then I'll go here area load right area load then uniform uniform shell load okay uniform shell load so I'll just come here and from here I'll select first of all dead load so actually I'll not apply any dead load here uh, actually dead load will be the self weight of the test structure I'll just apply floor finish then partition all so I'll select floor finish and it should be gravity and our that load will be what will the load actually our floor finish okay um, I'll consider that it, that will be 25 pound per square feet mm -hmm. actually uh, I'll request you for floor finish I'll just request you please follow your code and as per your code you have to input that data what is the value of that floor finish so I'm just uh, giving her 20 I think that's okay okay so for your code you will find out that after that simply click apply so here we have applied our floor finish and if you right click you can see here for load just see here here the load is 20 and that is pound I'll just close that again I will click at pre-select okay when I'm here in pre-select then I will apply partition wall okay I will apply partition wall but will not assign load on top floor right I mean in row because uh, there they have no partition all except a parapet and I mean side all so and also in a stair so first of all i'll just uh, for partition wall i'll consider uh, the partition wall is we'll consider the also 20 actually you have to calculate the partition all and i'll apply that uh, i mean the value of partition all in floor i mean in slab for that work but if you have partition all on your beam then you can apply uh, that wall in beam as a uh, uniformly distributed load and you know some previous lecture I have shown you about that how we'll do actually right so here 
first of all how do we do actually I will just carefully sorry I will carefully deselect or that stair slab right sorry so i need to move it in this way just will dislet actually uh, working in sap that is little bit difficult uh, then it apps uh, I think to design building it apps is best then sap and as both are the here it's not okay it's done right so here i will assign partition lot on floor slab and i hope it will be okay so i will consider that is 20 and also you have to calculate that what is your partition wall weight per unit area then you have to apply here i'm just applying okay so it's done after that i will select i mean pre-select or i will just go here i'll select select then I'll just come here come here properties then area section then total slab actually it will be better if you use three types of slab for floor uh, I mean if you give here the um, assign I mean define floor slab then uh, roll slab and then a stair slab then it will be better to select the particular slab for different times so when it's uh, okay then I'll just close it and after that I'll just provide uh okay uh, live lot floor here roof live lot or floor live lot so i will uh, only consider one types of load otherwise i will just consider floor live load and from here i will just deselect all of floor slab here and the rest one is here right and after that i will just apply here 18 pound and you have to apply live load as per your requirement or as per your design so i'll just click uh, we can click a replace then apply right after that i'll simply select sorry i'll simply select that floor slab and here i'll just provide Okay, and here I'll um, provide the roof, roof live load. All right, I'll provide here roof live load. After that, simply apply. So it's done. So we have um, provided. If I right click here, now we'll be able to see which types of load we have provided here. So here, if uh, both every load are uniform load, uniform load, and here this is the 20. Okay, floor finish partition all and row fly load we have applied that types of load in our slab right and if we click here so what which types of load we have applied it on our stair so uh, sorry that that is the joint uh, if we if i select that just see here here we have uh, provided floor finish and floor live load so these two types of load we have applied it on our that is step and uh, one thing just we have forget it to do here uh, i'll just go ahead x y then i'll go down sorry uh, 
okay uh, again I'll just here here uh, I have provided support on it and if I go in 3d so I'll just move it and you'll be seeing I mean you'll see here we, we do not provide any support here okay so I'll just do that in X sign okay so this is our support and as per our uh, plan will provide support so you know that about our plan so I'll just go here joint and first of all I'll select here it is a column I'll select all point of column that point that point and that point and mm, here we have a column here on here on and at middle we have the column level here right and uh, here we have a column here and uh, here we have a column here and here then I'll select fixed then apply right now if we go in 3d and if I move it then you'll be able to see every point I mean at every column we have provided fixed support right so it's done so when it's done after that we have to do a last work okay we have to do a last work so we'll do that uh, for our I mean to apply wind load on it 